Hey Fox, and welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to fix error 1053. The servers did not respond to the start or control request in a timely fashion here in your Windows or computer. So without any further ado, let's get started. The very first step that you need to do is here at the bottom search bar, please type CMD. The moment you've typed it, wait for a system called command prompt under the best match will appear. Once it is there, just have to click on run as administrator. So here, your user account control will ask you to say yes. The connect. Just have to click on yes so that you would be able to give permission on running the command prompt as administrator. So here you need to type a command, which is this, net such winsock reset. Again, it is net sh space winsock reset. Okay. So once you have typed that, you need to click on enter and wait until this statement, which is successfully reset the winsock catalog. Okay. Once it is being successful, just have to type on the second command, which is ipconfig space forward slash renew. Okay. So let me just paste it here again. Or the since the paste option is grayed out, I'll just use my keyboard control V to paste, then click on enter. Okay. So once it says here, successfully flush the DNS, just have to close this window and then you need to proceed to our next step. Okay. So our next step would be we need to open our file explorer. So just have to simply open your file explorer. The moment you have opened it, you need to proceed on your C drive, okay? Under this PC, you need to click on it. And here, you need to proceed on Windows. Just have to double tap it, okay? And under the Windows, you need to scroll down, okay? And you need to look for software distribution, okay? So see it here. Just have to double tap, okay? And you can see it here. It has this file folder named Data Restore. Just have to do a right click, okay? And go with Delete. Okay. Just have to wait until this Data Restore, I mean Data Store, will be deleted in our Windows, okay? So once it is being successfully deleted or removed here at the software distribution, just have to close this window. And then you need to restart your computer. Once you have restarted it, check if your problem has been fixed. And let's see if it doesn't. Then we need to move on to our third step. Okay. Our third step would be here at the start icon. Please do a right click. Scroll up and then go with the run. Here at this small window, please type for regedit. edit. And you need to click on OK to proceed. So your user account control will ask you to say yes just go with yes so that you would be able to open the registry editor okay we're here to follow this registry pass okay just simply post this video so i mean yes so that you can take a picture you can take a note of it okay again you know how to just have to simply post this video so that you can take a picture you can take a note of it okay where here you need to go with hk underscore local underscore machine and then go with system and then go with current control set and then you need to go with control okay here you need to create a new dword 32 bit value which is this services pipe timeout again it is services pipe timeout just have to do a right click here in this blank area and go with the word 32 bit value. And then you need to rename that services pipe timeout. Click on enter to create. Here you need to double tap and then change the value data into 180,000. Okay, so once you have set it, you need to click on OK. And once you have successfully changed the value data into 180,000, just have to close this window and then you need to restart your computer. Once you have restarted it, you need to check if your problem has been fixed. Okay. And let's see if it doesn't. Then we need to bound to our last step, which is here again at the bottom search bar. Please type for CMD once again. 
And this time, you need to go with run as administrator for the last time. And then you use Q to say yes, just go with yes, so that you would be able to open this blank window. Here, you need to tap for SFC space forward slash scan now. So this will do system scanning. Just have to click on enter and it, this process will take some time. It might take some time, but definitely it will be worth it since it will definitely fix the problem for you. Okay, just have have leave this command prompt window open and just have to wait until the verification will be completed. Once done, you need to proceed on typing the second command task, which is this dism.exe space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health. Okay? So just have to wait until this verification will be completed and then type the second command text. Okay? Click on enter and this will restore the health of your computer and definitely it will fix all the problems, the issues that you are facing with in your computer. Okay, so that's it. Once you are done with this, just have to close this window and then you need to restart your computer. Once you have restarted it, just have to check if your problem has been fixed. Okay. And that's it. Okay, so those are the steps on how to fix your problem. Hopefully those video helps. I mean, those steps help you. If yes, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button as well as the bell icon to be updated for more tutorials like this. Thank you for watching this video and take care everyone. Look at you.